Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to crochet around spider web motif and join such motifs together in large piece of work. For work you need a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. Let's begin the work. Make a chain of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch of the foundation chain and make a slip stitch. The ring is ready. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn. Make 17 double crochet into the ring. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on till you will get 17 double crochet. I have done all 17 double crochet stitches. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round is done. Now chain 3 to bring up the yarn for the next round. Then chain of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make double crochet. I skip 2 stitches and make double crochet into the third stitch. Well done. Make a chain of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We skip 2 stitches, 1, 2, and double crochet into the third stitch. Make a chain of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And double crochet into the third stitch. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. I did the last chain space. Now work with the slip stitch into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Like this. Then chain 3 to bring up the yarn. Then chain more by pattern. Now make double crochet into the third chain stitch on the beginning of the previous round. Well done. Continue chain of four, one, two, three, four. And double crochet into the sixth chain space. Then chain of four for the chain space. Make double crochet into the double crochet of the previous round. Well done. Chain and make double crochet into the same stitch. Well done. Then chain of four, one, two, three, four. Make double crochet into the chain space. Four chains and double crochet into the double crochet of the previous row. Then chain and double crochet into the double crochet of the previous round. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. 
I did four chains for the chain space. Work with the slip stitch into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Here how the motif looks like. Make a slip stitch into the chain space. Then chain three to bring up the yarn. Then chain more by pattern. Make double crochet into the chain space. Like this. Continue chain of six for the chain space. Make double crochet into the double crochet of the previous round. Continue chain of six for the chain space. Now double crochet into the chain space. Now make a chain and double crochet into the same chain space. Make a chain of six. Make double crochet into the double crochet of the previous round. Continue chain of six for the chain space. Make double crochet into the chain space. Continue chain and double crochet into the same chain space. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. I did six chains and now work with the slip stitch into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Here how the motif looks like at this point. Make a slip stitch into the chain space. Now three chains to bring up the yarn and chain more for the pattern. Make double crochet into the chain space. Chain of seven. Make double crochet into the double crochet of the previous round. Well done. Chain of seven for the chain space. Make double crochet into the chain space, chain and double crochet into the same chain space. Continue, chain of seven, make double crochet into the double crochet, seven chains, as we did before, double crochet into the chain space, chain and double crochet into the same chain space. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Work with the slip stitch into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Here how the my spider web motif looks like. And I will continue. For this make a slip stitch into the small chain space. 
chin 3 to bring up the yarn, then chain of 2, and chain of 3 for the pick of 1, 2, 3, Let's count from the bottom to the up. One, two, three, four, and insert the hook into the fifth chain stitch from the beginning. Make a slip stitch. The picker is ready. Now chain, make double crochet into the same chain space. Make eight chains for the chain space. Make double crochet into the double crochet of the previous row. Chain three for the pico. Work a slip stitch into two loops of the double crochet. The pico is ready. Chain of eight for the chain space. Make double crochet. chain then chain more for the pico then chain 3 for the pico now make a slip stitch into the second chain stitch from the beginning one insert the hook into the second chain stitch make a slip stitch The pico is ready, chain, and double crochet into the same chain space. Eight chains for the chain space. Double crochet into the double crochet of the previous round. Let's make the pico. For this chain of three and work a slip stitch into two loops of the double crochet. Chain of eight for the chain space. Let's repeat again. Make double crochet into the small chain space then chain of two and chain of three for the pico one two three and work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch from the beginning then chain and double crochet into the same small chain space. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this motif together. I did eight chains. Now work with a slip stitch. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round and make a slip stitch. I have already cut off the yarn. The motif is ready. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Here what we have got. In the next part we continue working on large piece of work. Please follow us in social media. Thanks for watching.